Hey guys, Danny the Traveler here, and I'm here with Rocky the Traveler. And we know it can be quite tricky to find a rental or a hotel that allows you to bring your four-legged best friend with you. Trust me, I know. So you want to go on an adventure to somewhere new, but you don't want to leave your dog alone. I know the feeling. And the list of people you trust to take care of your pup is smaller than a teacup chihuahua. And then there's dog boarding, but it's not for everyone. And now, your dog is looking at you with those puppy eyes. You know which ones I'm talking about. So then you decide to take your dog with you. Good choice. You want to do right by your dog, and you definitely don't want to sneak him or her into a hotel. Fear not. Like I said, I've been there before with Rocky, and now we will help you find a hotel that welcomes your furry little friend and in just a few easy steps. In the UK alone, nearly half of households own a pet, and in the US, it jumps up to 68%. So with those numbers, finding a pet-friendly hotel or rental or b and should be pretty easy, right? Nope. Well, it's not easy if you don't know where to look. But luckily, the world is getting pet friendlier and waking up to the fact that more and more people are considering their pets as part of the family. Nearly every major hotel and rental booking site now has a filter when searching for hotels. After years of traveling with Rocky, I've been able to break down the pet friendly hotel finding process down to you in just a few easy steps. For sites such as Booking.com, Kayak.com, TripAdvisor and other similar vacation booking sites, you can select the city you're planning on going to, then once the results of the hotels, B&Bs and rentals appear, you can simply choose to filter out places that are not pet friendly. This filter appears on the amenities section in many of the sites, but you can usually find them under sections such as facilities, suitability or filter. Once you've clicked on that, then a new list of pet friendly hotels should appear. You can then click on the individual listings and view more information about the hotel, including their pet policy. You might find their policy asks for a pet fee, or even better, that pets can stay absolutely free. This is the best. If you're not sure about the hotel's pet policy, then you can call them up and find out. You can also send them an email. The same applies for other rental holiday sites such as Windu, etc. Most of them have pet filters that will narrow down the selection for you. Nowadays, there's quite a few dog-friendly hotel websites and rental home websites, such as London-based Pets Pajamas, which specializes in only pet-friendly hotels, or All For Paws UK, which focuses on pet-friendly country escapes with your pet. Not really into looking online? Well, that's all right. Some people prefer the old-fashioned way. Some people prefer the old-school method of driving around. This is a good option, and you can simply also just call them. I don't know anybody who uses a travel agent anymore, but they're still around, and they can definitely help if you're planning a holiday retreat and want to take your dog with you. You can simply tell them you're bringing your pet, and if needed, then you can provide them with your pet's breed, weight, etc. in case the hotels or rentals ask for them. Oh, hello Rocky. <laughs> a word on dog-friendly hotels. Do bring a dog bed, just in case. And do make sure that your dog is accustomed to staying in hotels or rentals. That way, they don't bark. If you've already booked a hotel and now want to take your dog with you, then the best thing to do is call up the hotel and ask them if they can accommodate your pet. They might ask for an extra fee, and worst case scenario is that uh, they're not pet friendly. If this is the case, talk to the hotel and let them know you decided to take your pet, and if they're well behaved, then make sure to emphasize that, and perhaps they can make an exception. If not, then most hotels should be able to provide you with a refund if you explain the situation, i.e. you decided to take your pet at the last minute because you couldn't find anybody to take care of them, etc, etc. 
you're a pretty smart person. I know you can figure out a really good reason to get your refund. Here's a few more tips when searching for a pet-friendly hotel. Some hotels and rentals will charge a pet fee and others will charge a pet deposit if they are pet friendly. I've found that more often than not, pet friendly places tend to be a little bit more pricier and that's probably because pet friendly accommodation is more likely to be a bit bigger and roomier than a non-pet friendly accommodation. But saying that, that's not always the case. Sometimes you'll find a pet friendly accommodation much cheaper than a non-pet friendly accommodation. Many times I've found hotels and apartments for really great prices only to realize that I forgot to click that pet friendly filter. Always double check or triple check, especially at the checkout, that the hotel you selected is in fact pet friendly. When looking for pet friendly accommodation, be prepared to get tons of no's before you see a yes. That beautiful, centrally located hotel with the waterfall swimming pool that you envisioned staying in with your pet might not be pet friendly. So you might have to settle for that smaller, plain looking hotel outside of the city to accommodate your dog. But hey, what wouldn't we do for family, right? Also, I suggest planning ahead, as with the increasing number of people taking their pets on holiday with them means that there'll be high demand for pet friendly hotels. So try to get yours in advance. As I've said before, I've found that pet-friendly hotels will really appreciate if you bring a dog bed with you. Of course, it may not even be mandatory, and in my years of traveling with Rocky, I've only ever come across one hotel that requested that I bring a dog bed. But you might want to bring one anyway, as maybe your dog really likes the comfort of her own bed. So that's it! Now you know how to find a pet-friendly hotel, so that next time your dog gives you the puppy eyes, you can also go ahead and pack their suitcase and take them along for the ride. Thanks for checking us out guys, and if this video helped you in any way, please consider hitting that subscribe button, and if you liked it, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you on the next adventure.